The world of baseball was rocked this week with the news of Pete Rose's passing at the age of 83. Known as the hit king and revered for his legendary career, Rose's life ended in a quiet, solitary manner, a sharp contrast to the larger-than-life figure he once embodied on the field. According to the medical examiner in Clark County, Nevada, Rose was found deceased in his home, discovered by a family member. The circumstances surrounding his death remain shrouded in uncertainty, with no signs of foul play. Investigations are ongoing to determine the precise cause and manner of death, with the coroner confirming that Rose had not been under medical care at the time. Pete Rose's name evokes a whirlwind of emotions, a towering figure of Major League Baseball, he was a 17-time All-Star, a relentless competitor who made history with a bat in hand. To his fans, Rose was the embodiment of America's pastime, a workhorse who, across his 24-year career, shattered records and cemented his legacy as the all-time leader in hits, games played, played appearances, and at-bats. He was more than just a player, Rose was a symbol of determination, celebrated for his Charlie Hustle mentality and for turning the Cincinnati Reds into a force to be reckoned with. But beyond the accolades, Rose's life was marked by controversy. While his on-field prowess was undeniable, it was his actions off the field that forever changed his legacy. In 1989, amidst whispers and speculation, Major League Baseball's newly appointed, Commissioner Bart Giamatti launched an investigation, led by lawyer John Dowd. What followed was a scandal that would shake the very foundations of the sport, the Dowd report revealed that Rose had placed at least 52 bets on Reds games during the 1987 season. The revelation was staggering, Rose, then the team's manager, had gambled on his own team. Faced with mounting evidence and few options, Rose accepted a lifetime ban from baseball, a decision that would forever bar him from the Hall of Fame. For over a decade, he denied the allegations, maintaining his innocence, and insisting that he never bet against his team. It wasn't until 2004, in a stunning revelation, in his autobiography My Prison Without Bars, that Rose finally admitted to gambling on games. In a candid interview with ABC News, Rose confessed, I bet on baseball in 1987 and 1988, that was my mistake. His voice carried the weight of years of denial, as he added, I wanted to win every game, I never bet against my team. The fallout from Rose's admission was swift and unforgiving. The Hall of Fame, two years after his ban, ruled that no one on MLB's ineligible list would be considered for induction. For many fans and players alike, this decision overshadowed Rose's once-celebrated career. Even then-President Donald Trump weighed in, tweeting in 2020, he gambled, but only on his team winning, and paid a decades-long price. Get Pete Rose into the Baseball Hall of Fame. It's time. Rose's journey was one of dizzying highs and heartbreaking lows. He dominated the sport, breaking Ty Cobb's career hits record on September 11, 1985, when his single against the San Diego Padres marked his 4,192nd hit. By the time he retired, Rose had amassed 4,256 hits, a record that still stands unchallenged. The pursuit of that record captivated the nation, it wasn't just about baseball, it was about determination, grit, and an unwavering desire to be the best. And yet, the scandal would eclipse his achievements, turning one of baseball's most celebrated players into one of its most controversial figures. Even Rose's attempt to challenge Joe DiMaggio's 56-game hitting streak in 1978 added to his lore. Though he fell short with 44 consecutive games, it was a reminder of Rose's relentless drive. This streak remains the second longest in modern baseball history. Despite his banishment from the game he loved, Pete Rose never truly left baseball behind. His number 14 jersey was retired by the Cincinnati Reds, and in 1999, fans voted him onto baseball's all-century team, where he received a standing ovation at the All-Star Game in Boston. His legacy, tarnished though it may be, could never be fully erased from the hearts of his fans. Rose's personal life was complex and often mirrored the tumultuous nature of his career. He was married twice and found love later in life with model Kiana Kim, whom he dated from 2011. Their relationship was documented in the reality TV show Pete Rose, hits and misses offering a glimpse into the life of a man still yearning 
for connection amidst the chaos of fame and scandal. Rose also had four children, including his eldest son, Pete Rose Jr. who briefly followed in his father's footsteps, playing in the majors for the Reds in 1997, though his career never quite took off. Pete Rose's passing marks the end of an era. For some, he will always be the man who tarnished the sanctity of baseball with his gambling scandal. For others, he remains the hit king, an indomitable force who played the game with a passion few could match. As the world reflects on his legacy, one thing is certain, Pete Rose's name will forever be synonymous with the game of baseball, for better or worse. As he once said, I owe baseball. Indeed, it seems baseball owes him a place in its history, even if it comes with an asterisk. Pete Rose, born on April 14, 1941, in Cincinnati, Ohio, was destined for baseball greatness from a young age. His journey began at just eight years old, playing organized youth baseball, with an intensity that set him apart. At his father's insistence, Rose became a switch hitter, a skill that would serve him well throughout his career. By 18, Rose signed with the Cincinnati Reds, and after three seasons in the minors, he made his major league debut in 1963. That rookie year saw Rose's work ethic and dedication rewarded as he was named National League Rookie of the Year. Over the next few years, Rose established himself as a force at the top of the Reds' batting order, leading the league in hitting in 1968 and 1969. His standout season came in 1973, when he earned his third batting title and was named the National League's Most Valuable Player. As a key figure of the Big Red Machine, Rose helped lead the Reds to multiple division titles and World Series victories in 1975 and 1976. Known as Charlie Hustle for his aggressive playstyle, Rose became famous for his headfirst slides and relentless effort on the field. His versatility allowed him to excel at multiple positions, earning fielding titles in 1970, 1974, 1976, and 1980. After joining the Philadelphia Phillies in 1979, Rose contributed to their first-ever World Series win in 1980. In 1985, during a second stint with the Reds as a player-manager, Rose broke Ty Cobb's all-time hits record, solidifying his place in history. By the time he retired in 1986, Rose had accumulated an incredible 4,256 hits, setting records for most games played and most at-bats. Pete Rose's life, both on and off the field, has always been intertwined with his family. Born into a working-class household in Cincinnati, Ohio, his father, Harry Francis Pete Rose Sr. was a local sports hero who passed on his competitive spirit to his son. Under his father's guidance, young Pete developed the relentless drive that would later make him a major league baseball legend. His mother, Laverne Rose, provided the stable home that grounded him throughout the highs and lows of his career. But as Pete's star rose, so too did the complexities of his personal life. He married his first wife, Carolyn Engelhart, in 1964, and together they had two children, Fawn Rose and Pete Rose Jr. The weight of fame, however, took its toll, and their marriage ended in divorce after 16 years. Pete Rose Jr., determined to carry on his father's legacy, stepped into the world of professional baseball. Though his time in the majors was short, with just 11 games played for the Cincinnati Reds in 1997, he inherited his father's tenacity. In 1984, Pete remarried to Carol Woleung, with whom he had two more children, Morgan and Tyler Rose. But just like his first marriage, the pressure and scandal surrounding his career led to another divorce. Despite the turbulence in his life, Pete found new love, in an unexpected place. Since 2011, he's been in a long-term relationship with Kiana Kim, a model and reality TV star. Their relationship became a public spectacle, as they opened their lives to the world, in the reality show Pete Rose, Hits and Misses, offering a behind-the-scenes, look at the man, who despite his exile from baseball, never left the spotlight. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you won't miss out on exciting stories and the latest updates. Join us every week as we discover more awesome content. Tap the notification bell to be the first to catch our new videos. Thank you for your support.